Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have been enjoying all of the content we've been putting out. I have personally been enjoying putting it out because you know I love creating this stuff and sharing all of my experiences with all of you. So I hope you enjoy the Alaska series. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out the Meyer Lake video I already put up on my YouTube channel that goes into all the hard work Marissa and Michael who own and take care of the property with their family, what that's all about and what the course is all about, designed by Dynamic Discs' very own Eric McCabe. Um, actually so, uh, a very enjoyable course, but you can actually hear my take on it in that video. So go check that out. This one, this video from Alaska is going to be more towards our adventure side. So not a lot of disc golf. We're going to see some amazing views, uh, visit towns like Talkeetna. There's not a ton of video showing that off uh, because it was gloomy that day, but we wanted to show you guys some Alaska fun. At the beginning of this trip, Colton and I made some bets. Um, how many eagles we would see, how many bears, and how many moose. Colton said we would see 25 moose. I said we would see 10. Colton said we would see 35 eagle. I said we'd see 25. And we and Colton said there would be five bear that we would see. And I said there, we would only see one. So um, at the end of the series, I'll let you guys know how many we actually see. But come along for this fun adventure that we take to Denali. our round we should have put sunscreen on finished our round with Eric McCabe Denise Cameron and Michael and Marissa who actually take care of the property um, at Meyer Lake had a fun round with them got to see the course but we are now on our way to see Denali Mountain one of or the highest mountain in North America in, in North America so definitely like a bucket list kind of situation. We don't know if we'll be able to see it. People have told us like 30% of people see it. Unless 30% of people see any part of Denali and less than that actually see the summit. So we're hoping we are that lucky percentage. Either way, we're going on a bus tour, uh, hopefully see some wildlife. We haven't seen anything yet. Uh, I thought we would see a moose coming in haven't seen a moose. Only seen we've only seen a red necked grout grebe. Grebe. So yeah, we're enjoying it, but uh, we're excited for Denali. I got some wings. We had to go to the grocery store because we did not pack enough food. And here's our cute little cabin for the night. Perfect. It sure looks bright outside, right? 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. The sun is shining. It's like being in Europe all over again. It's currently 5.30 a.m. We got up and noticed it's not the best weather today, so who knows what today has in store for us when it comes to weather. Um, we're still going on the boat, uh, the bus tour. I'm not going to cancel it, and I don't think we could refund it, and we're already out here, so we're just going to enjoy the bus. 
I'm sure the views are gonna be insane, even if we don't see the summit of Denali. We're gonna have a good day no matter what. Getting breakfast and then bus tour. Hopefully, we can see it. Yeah, the weather is, to kindly put it, garbage today. <laughs> Hopefully, we can see something. Maybe a bear. I'm gonna be seeing a lot of rain and water and. Maybe water, one, maybe waterfalls. After grabbing breakfast and coffee at the only cafe open at 6 a.m., we finally got on our Denali bus tour with our wonderful guide, Nancy. She was absolutely amazing. She had been working for the tours for over 20 years, so she was so knowledgeable on everything inside the park, which made the experience that much better. Uh, so I'm going to share some really fun facts that I got from our tour and kind of do a voiceover over the fun that we got to see. So starting with Denali, the reason we are there, it is the highest mountain in North America at 20,310 feet. Absolutely insane. And that's why it can be visible from 200 miles away and why we got to see it the day beforehand on the way to the park. So really beautiful and i'm glad we got to be the 30 percent it's also home to 160 species of birds and offers home to 39 species of mammals i wish we got to see more wildlife we got to see some birds on the road and actually got to see a few caribou that will show up but we didn't get to see all the bears that we wanted to see. We talked to Nancy and she mentioned that ever since the landslide happened and closed off a good section of the road, uh, we don't really see bears anymore. She said that she sees them every once in a while. She used to see like every single day. So that was kind of disappointing. But here we are checking out the caribou. This was really cool to see out in the wild. It's not like you're in a zoo and she put them on the camera which was made it that much easier to see their fluffy little antlers and man i wish we got to see like a moose or a bear or something crazy cool like that but instead we got to see this little family of crows and check out some insane views and what was really cool to learn was the plant called fireweed it's a really beautiful pink flower and um, it grows from the bottom to the top and when it reaches the top that means that summer is about to be over so I thought that was really cool and interesting and when we were there they still had some time left in summer and another cool fact they had or shared with us was that paleontologists found some dino bones in 2016 so that was really sweet to experience and the last thing we got to see were these really cool um, doll sheep. Uh, we were about to leave the park, we were almost gone, we were so bummed out we didn't get to see more animals and then boom these guys show up. So it was a really enjoyable bus tour. Nancy made it 10 times better than we expected and I definitely recommend this to someone who wants to see so much of the park because not only are you seeing the views and the beauty but you have the guides that know absolutely everything. So had such a great time there. And once we were done, we went to the gift shops right like down the road and we checked out some really cool handmade Alaskan things, but man, they were so expensive. Like this pen was $4,000, uh, but I made sure to grab some stuff for my friends some fam back home, Colton got some hats. I think I got some shirts while we were there as well. We learned from our tour guide, Nancy, at the tour today that these bumps are... Permafrost, well, permafrost is under the road and they are starting to melt and parts of the road are being affected. For example, uh, the Denali Tundra Wilderness Tour that we just did, um, I think like f three years ago, it's 92 miles one way. It's like round trip, I think 12 or 14 hours, they said. Well, I think they said in 2021, there was a landslide at mile 45. Um, so they are building a bridge a landslide because of permafrost 
it, the, it melted, eroded the road away, so they're building a bridge over it. They anticipate it'll be built by 2026 and reopened, but uh, yeah, our Nancy, the tour guide, said that the length of tour is a huge factor of the amount of wildlife that we see. We didn't see very much today. A few sheep, a uh, couple caribou, ground squirrels, birds, nothing, honestly. Pretty big letdown in the wildlife department, but at least we got to see Denali. Um, but yeah, she just said that before they shut the road down, she would see bears daily. They, she said she would, in a year, it would be six to eight days that she would not see a bear. And now that the tours are half as long, she says she doesn't see them near as often, so. Sucks, man, no moose. We did see, um, what were they, the sheep? Yep, so doll sheep. Doll sheep and... Caribou. Caribou, so at least we saw something, but. At least we learned a lot. Thanks, Nancy. On the way home, we ended up stopping at that same viewpoint that we stopped at two days prior, and there were absolutely no mountains, no Denali, and that just goes to show that there actually is a 30% club, and we are stoked to be in it. We are trying to find a tree house. 50 minutes from Southeast if we still want to go. I mean... I got tacos, but you got reindeer. First impression? Not bad. Only got a little baby bite. Kind of tastes like kielbasa. Hmm. 